here. So let me give the floor to Mr Farage for one and a half minutes. Thank you. Well, it must be very good news for the European Commission that the Brexit hole is nowhere near as bad as you thought it was going to be. The uh, 40 billion that Mrs May has agreed to pay over the course of the next few years must help. And of course, as we speak, she's desperately scrambling to get us back into a whole series of EU programmes in your next budgetary period. And no doubt we'll pay more for that. And perhaps what's even better news, Commissioner, is that the Prime Minister now wants a two-year extension of the transition phase. So I can only assume that if that effectively means full membership for a further two years, that 40 billion would now become 60 billion. And I would like your confirmation uh, that extended transition will mean a bigger bill. But perhaps the reality, of course, is that Brexit is not the biggest problem that the European Union now faces. Uh, Italy, of course, has been mentioned, and they are net contributors to this budget. They pay in about €4 billion Euros every single year. And there are signs that in Italy, voters are tiring of paying that money. They question what the euro has done to their economy. They feel they're a victim of the European Union's immigration policies. And as a result of all this, they voted in a new government, only to find that bullying, hectoring, from the European Commission has been listened to by the Italian President and in the last 48 hours their democracy has been traduced. In the past you managed to bully the Danes, you bullied the Irish, you bullied the Greeks into submission. I suspect with Italy today you've now bitten off more than you can chew. Bring on more elections and bigger Eurosceptic victories. Thank you, Mr. Farage. Would you accept a blue card from Mrs. Comey, Mr. Farage? Please, Mrs. Comey. Yeah, but okay. My dear colleague, I'd like to thank you for your intervention, but perhaps uh, there were things that weren't quite right. Perhaps you didn't perhaps uh, get the accurate information in your country. Now, you know full well that the Five Star Movement and the League have said that they don't want to leave Europe and they don't want to leave the Euro. They want to be pro-European forces and they want to change Europe like we all do, but they want to stay in. Did, were you aware of that? Well, it was said a few years ago that I was the European Union's worst nightmare because I wanted Britain to leave the European Union. I suspect, I suspect that actually two Italian political parties that want to stay inside the European Union but want to change immigration rules, want to change their ability to control their own budget, are actually an even bigger problem for a centralised Europe. And as history goes on, once the British have left, you'll think, gosh, they were really easy compared to this Italian government. <laughs> we now have Mr Wolf for one minute, please. It's not seeming... Oh, there we go. Thank you, Mr Deputy uh, Speaker. In 1976, ABBA released its famous song, Money, 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 with its lyrics, It must be funny living in a rich man's world. Well, Mr Ottinger, you and the European Union must have adopted ABBA's song as the new EU anthem. As the UK leaves the EU, instead of cutting the budget, you increase it by £192 billion to 1.135 trillion. It is this lack of economic sense that will bring down the EU and the Euro. Instead of dealing with 25% of EU poverty and social funds, you increase an EU army budget. Instead of closing the borders in 2014, you increase now the cost of immigration and asylum to Europe by 392%. The EU's problem is that you think there is a magic money tree. There isn't. If you don't spend less, maybe the EU and other countries within the EU will adopt another song by ABBA, SOS, or like the UK, Hasta Manana. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Would you accept a question from Mr. Coburn? To allow a question of colleague Coburn. He's delighted, Herr Coburn. And I'm delighted as well, Mr. President, and thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Wolf, for asking, answering my question. Uh, 
Would you agree with me that now the Italian president is taking his orders from the European Union and Italy is a vassal state of the European Union? Would you not say it's high time the Italians and the two parties who are now hoping to take uh, government, that it's high time they went for Italian exit as we are? What do you think, sir? Herr Kollege Wolf. Mr. Wolf, please. Uh, Mr. Coburn, the Italian people spoke for themselves when they decided to vote for the Five Star Movement and Liga Nord. They made a choice of a democracy to have their own government make their decisions for them. Any institution outside of Italy that infringes their own democratic rights are wrong, but it is up to the Italian people to make the choice of what they want, and they should listen to their own government, not the president acting on others' behalves. Thank you, Mr. Wolf.